right, we got a flow here. We're trying to create a list item in a SharePoint list when a new task is created. So I'm gonna just walk through this flow real quick and show how that's done. Pretty simple tr trigger when a new task is created. Um, we're gonna point it at the group and the plan for that task. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna list the plans for the same group that I chose in the trigger. And the reason for that is I wanna have the name of the, of the plan rather than the ID when we get down here to create the list. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter the array of those plans. So I potentially could have several plans come back and I just wanna filter the value of the plans um, for the ID that was part of the task that triggered this. And that's the filter. And then again, we're gonna loop over the assignments that were created for with the task. So when the task was created, multiple assignees were added to the task and we're gonna loop over those and our apply to each. And then I'm just getting a look at those here in the compose. And then we're gonna create that SharePoint list item. We're gonna point it at this team to do's list. This is gonna be the title of our task that triggered this flow. This is the piece that we're looking for. It's the assign to claims with this I colon zero hash colon F pipe membership pipe followed by the user ID. That's the magic piece I think we're looking for. And then the plan name is gonna be the first element of the body from the filter array and then we want its title. So that's all the elements that came back in this filter array. We want the first one of those, and then we're narrowing down on the title. So we get the plan name again, rather than the plan ID. And then we're just passing the due date through. So if I go, I'm just gonna give that a quick save just to be 100% sure that it's right where I want it. And then I'm gonna go to my board and I'm gonna add a new task. And I'll call it third test, give it the 31st, and two assignees, add that task. And I'll go back here and we'll watch for that flow to run. Okay, our flow is running. I'll just click in there. We can see that's already run successfully. If we go and we look at our list and we refresh, we get two assignments and we get the plan name and we get the due date. Thanks for watching.